Hey guys, Kevin with Relax. We're gonna start our uh, carbon fiber composite, same term, shaft review. So uh, this morning I asked whether you wanted to see the ECD Carbon 2.0 or the Wolf Athletics Element. Element went out. So we'll begin the review on that and you'll see the carbon in a few days. So you'll notice in this video that uh, there's no head on the shaft. I'm using the Rebel Offensive version uh, for all the shafts. That way, there's very little difference between each of the ones I'm working with other than the shaft being different. So if one actually shoots faster or harder, I can, can tell. So uh, I'll use each shaft for a couple games, a couple pickups, and uh, get a good assessment of it then. So before we begin talking about this one, let's talk about where Wolf came from. Now, Wolf started with the clear polycarbonate shafts, which were fun to shoot with or launch the ball three neighborhoods to the left if you didn't uh, have proper form. They took over Jewel and took a lot of the technology that Jewel had cool and actually made it functional. What does that mean? Uh, one of the things that the Jewel Lev shafts were were awesome is that they did not break. But on the other hand, they were cylindrical, and I just don't think anyone got over that. Attach that to a piece of crap head, and you can see why the company is no longer in business. Wolf took, those, took that technology and actually made a functional shaft out of it. Um, a lot of the same denseness, a lot of the same feel, but you can see it's got that traditional shaft feel, except for on the sides, it's a little thinner and it sits in your hand a little bit more like uh, the De Beer Trilax, the teardrop, which I didn't know if I would like or not. And honestly, I didn't notice it while I was playing with it. So if I don't notice it, that's usually not an issue. So let's get into the ins and outs of the shaft with the Legends end cap on it. Uh, it's it's beefy. There are three series of the element shaft. You have the youth shaft, um, a stronger mid-level shaft. That when I say mid-level, it's probably not right. I mean it's the same cost as this one. And then you have this one where you've seen Thrilla running around Instagram beating stuff up, curling with these. These things can take a beating. So the U2, which is this one, is the strongest, heaviest of the three. Uh, I picked that one just for the fact that I have a problem breaking composite carbon fiber shafts that I play with. Whether it's me being checked or me checking someone, you'd be the judge. So I wanted to get the bad boy and uh, test it out. Now, as you can see, there are some chips to the paint which is completely fine. I'd rather have a chip to the paint than the precursor of a stress crack. And if you've ever seen those on a carbon fiber shaft, that means your shaft's gonna explode in soon. Uh, but this is a heavier shaft. It's about eight and a half ounces where I would say your general carbon fiber shaft is at least half that. But, you know, in the end of it, you're talking four ounces, you're not talking four pounds. So it's, you're trading some lightness for strength. I and mean, it's probably has to have one of the highest strength to weight ratios on the market. Coming in at 150 bucks, it's towards the high end of shafts. But talking to the guys at Wolf, they've never seen one of these break. Um, I may have tried to swing a little harder at games and couldn't do anything to it. Um, it's got a 12 month warranty where the industry standard is six months. So yes, you're paying more up front, but the likelihood of this breaking is uh, remote or reduced. And uh, you have, if you do break it, you have a full 12 month warranty. In these days and ages, if you can get a full year out of a shaft, you've gotten a good value in it. They just don't make some shafts like they used to. Like, 
the Saitai Pro. I mean, these things are awesome. They just, those never broke. Or if they did, you broke your deep hole and cut it down and had a, an attack shaft. But it seems more and more that shafts, as they get lighter and have different flex points, don't have the longevity or the durability that they used to. Uh, this one stands a chance to last you many seasons, unless you're a complete meathead like Darkstar, but then that's a different story. So, 150 bucks. Um, it's heavier, less likely to break. And even though when it's heavy, it's not, you know, I'm not holding a cinder block here. If that extra four ounces is uh, bugging you down, you need to work out a little bit more. Uh, it's a good value. I would recommend trying a friend's first, because like I said, the shaft shape is slightly different. I liked it, so uh, I will definitely be using this again, putting this into the rotation. So the series is gonna go, the Carbon 2.0 is gonna be next, and then I'll do uh, the STX, the new STX shaft. I'll do the True um, Comp 4.5, the Warrior um, Burn Pro one, and a couple others. If there's one in general you guys want, leave a message, send me a DM, let me know, thanks.